the 2021-2022 annual general conference of the Ghana Bar Association is underway in Bogatanga, capital of the Akarit region. The conference, which started today, is scheduled to end on Friday, 17th September 2021. The conference has a theme ensuring an increase in revenue mobilization through taxation for the purpose of accelerated development, the role of the lawyer. In his welcome address, the national president of the GBA, Mr. Anthony Folson Jr., expressed worry over bribery and corruption, which seems to be the norm in the country today. We need to examine bribery which have not been normalized and accepted through gift giving, which actively seeks to influence official conduct and to, to the detriment of the people who by mere merit deserve the opportunities snatched from them and from the people who have no monies to compete with such endemic corrupt practices. The Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Mr. Godfrey Diebu Adami, said a fair and effective administration of the laws of the country is a collective effort of all. He said the nature of the country's laws enacted by parliament, the procedure and judgment by the country's court, the work of law enforcement officials, the wisdom, skill and zeal of the bar are all critical. The government of President Kufado is fully aware that corruption thrives an atmosphere conducive to its consumers and the absence of systems to ensure that consequences of perpetration of corruption are applied in a fair and efficient manner. In order to deal with this, the government between 2017 and 2018 ensured the passage of the Right to Information Act, the Protection of Witnesses Act, the Office of the Special Prosecutor Act, the COVID Restructuring and Insolvency Act, as well as the Companies Act. The Chief Justice, Justice Kwesi Eningebua, said the judiciary will continue to collaborate with the bar to put innovative measures in place to decongest the courts. Protracted delays in the administration of justice impact negatively not only on those who are set the courts, but as the victims of crime, accused persons who are acquitted at the end of their trial, parties in civil proceedings and deputies, the lawyers who practice before the courts and everybody who has something to do with the justice system. President Ikufuado told the gathering that all citizens must honor their tax obligations to enable government execute the development they so desire. Between June 2020, the start of ICONS, and May 2021, teething challenges, ill-considered propaganda, and the impact of COVID-19 on global trade notwithstanding. Customs revenue has increased by 27.6% to 14.36 billion CDs. Additionally, government is exploring data warehousing, data matching, and artificial in intelligence to identify tax defaulters. The president also spoke about the impact of the integrated customs management system at the country's port in the country's revenue mobilization drive. Taxes can be confusing at times, and a good tax lawyer can guide and help keep businesses afloat or families' finances intact. It is at this time when we're trying to build a cost of paying taxes that we have a special demand for lawyers who would inspire confidence in the people that it is worth doing. It was made known that only 39 lawyers are practicing in the five regions of the north.